So here we have my Traxxas X Max 8S, my all time favorite RC car. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you all the modifications, uh, all the upgrades, all the accessories that I use with this car. And um, I'm going to put some links down below to where you can buy the car and where you can get all the upgrades from and also the accessories that I use to run this car. So starting off at the top, we have a RC Maniacs body shell, indestructible body shell. Uh, these really take a beating. So upgrade wise, I'm running Sen hinge pins and I'm running them on the outer here on the front. And then coming over to the rear, I'm running them top and bottom on the outside and on the inside, I'm only running them on the top. I'm running the Traxxas upgraded steering servo and a Hobbywing Max 6 speed controller. And I've put on some XT90 battery connectors. Moving further down, I'm running a motor out of a 6SX Max. Reason being, it's a higher KV, so more RP more speed and more power but it does make it run slightly hotter there's no fans on here at the moment because I've broken them off but I do usually run the stock fans on there and then I'm running a 18 tooth steel pinion and a 50 tooth steel spur gear and then coming onto the rear I'm running RPM rear knuckles other than that the rest of the truck is stock I like running the stock tires I've tried different pro line wheels and tires but because they're so heavy it tends to trash the rest of the truck more so I'll get best results with a stock wheels these ones are quite old now and they're torn so i've got to replace them so oil wise i'm running stock oils everywhere so stock shock oils stock diff oils uh, in the center diff i actually do upgrade it to a silicon earplug uh, the, the stuff that's in there stock is actually pretty good in the AS X Maxes, uh, but if you put in a silicon earplug, you just take out the old grease and you jam one of these in there, uh, then that really does lock it up a little bit more and that's gonna get you some, if you've geared it right and you've got enough power, then you should be able to get standing backflips out of it. Battery wise, I'm now running it on these Zop Power LiPos. These are dirt cheap. And although some people say that they're bad quality and they've had them puff up and burst into flames, I've not had that problem. I've had these for many months now and zero issues. They're still working perfectly fine. There's no puffing. They've got loads of power. They hold their charge well. They charge up well. I mean, as if something does go wrong with these in the future, then I will be sure to share that in the channel. But so far, they have performed absolutely perfectly. So I usually run it on these four S LiPos there. So obviously two of them making it eight S. Uh, but sometimes if I want to get an extra run out of it, or if I don't want to go so mad, then I run it on these three S LiPos. And there's going to be links to all of this stuff down below. And then I use this battery checker here. That's kind of handy just to have with you uh, because you just plug that into there and it instantly tells you the percentage of battery charge in your battery. And you can cycle through the cells and it tells you the individual voltage of each cell too. So charger wise, I'm using this Dynamite Profit Sport Quad Charger. 100 watt per channel, you can charge four batteries at the same time. Oh, and when it comes to ride height, I like to run my trucks a little bit lower than normal. Uh, so I usually set it up so when, when you look at these wish they are almost parallel. So it's running slightly a little bit higher, uh, but usually if you have it like jacked all the way up, it's gonna make the truck unstable. So um, this is how I set mine up anyway. A little hack that I use to make all my plastics a lot stronger is to cover the whole entire X-Max with this MO94. Uh, and I concentrate it mainly on the suspension arms and on the hubs. Uh, but be warned though, when you do that, the plastic will become softer and these pins will pop out. And that is why I'm running the send hinge pin braces. If you do this with the stock pins, uh, you're gonna find where the plastic's so flexible, they're always gonna ping out. Alternatively, you could also use WD-40. Now, although I can't see any problem with really getting it on your motor and onto your ESC, I don't really put it onto there. I'll just sort of focus it around on the suspension part. Another little trick that I do is that if we turn this upside down, uh, I wedge like a M3 or an M3 screw into these holes that are there and then fill it up with hot glue. Uh, because a couple of times I've broken these servo posts off or these steering posts off of the chassis and then you've got to change the whole bulkhead. But since I've been doing this, I've never broken any since. And this truck is now actually long overdue a rebuild. It's getting tired now, it needs new tires. It's got a lot of play in places. This is like over two years old now, probably coming on to three years old. And it's had so much abuse and so much punishment and it just keeps coming back for more and more and more. So as I said, there's gonna be links down below to where you can get the truck from and where you can get all the upgrades and all the, all the accessories from too. Uh, so next, I'm going to put a few clips of this truck uh, on one of our, our bash outings and uh, then I'll see you over in another video. Oh, tumble wumble. Oh! Oh! <laughs> 
Try to get a little freestyle going. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh, he nearly oh, did it! Nearly! <laughs> GoPro shot off! <laughs> Where's that guy? Oh, it's here! Hello! Oh! That screen's not looking too good. 